everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Thinking Laser. Today we will process laser cutting for repairing some work pieces. Let's see how the machine works to repair instead of replace by a new one. And find out new ways to save your cost. Now you can see the hydraulic props used in coal mining industry. These work pieces have been used in the factory for over two years worn surface on it. The customer's requirement is to improve its wear resistance and corrosion resistance by laser cladding. Now before we processing, we need to confirm the standard size of the diameter of the work pieces. Let's get the macrometers. We can see the wear loss of the diameter is 2 mm. One single layer of the laser cutting will be 1.5 mm. Reserve the sufficient machining dimensional allowance and we will choose a suitable workflow for the processing of laser cutting. Secondly, we need to confirm which kind of powder to choose. Powder selected based on the properties the customer expects. Now in this case, we adopt this iron-based powder. Now this is the machine we are going to run testing today. The rectangular spot laser cladding machine, SFH3050L. The laser power 6 kilowatts. The laser spot 20 by 2 mm. The casting iron base of the machine ensures a stable operation for a long time. The bus control system is simple to learn and convenient to operate. The powder reaches the focus of laser beam through the gravity powder feeder and the laser cladding head. The powder is heated up by laser focusing. It is melted with a thin layer on the surface of the base material at the same time. And after rapid cooling down, a surface coating with extremely low dilution and metallurgical bonding with the base material is formed thereby greatly improving the wear resistance, corrosion resistance of the base material surface. This equipment can meet a variety of shaft or roller parts. The so using rate of powder for this machine can reach 95% and the cladding efficiency can reach 0.3 to 0.5 square meter per hour. That is to say, if we clad some workpiece like this, the length 1 meter and diameter is 400 mm. It takes us 3 hours to finish. Compared with the traditional process, the electroplating process has serious pollution, poor adhesion, shorter service life, and higher cost. The arc-based welding requires excessive heat input, which may result in negative effects on performance of the whole component such as distortion and reduce mechanical properties. Well, laser cladding features including highly concentrated heat input with narrow heat affected zone, minimal dilution, highly adhesion strength due to metallurgical bond, little to no distortion, environmental friendly process, enhance the hardness, wear resistance, and corrosion resistance, how laser cladding will improve the performance of the workpiece, we will take you to see it later. When the cladding process is over, the oxide layer on the surface of the cladding process is removed by roof machining. Then CNC grinding, turning, and polishing. Now after several steps of the CNC machinery processing to the center side, and finally the workpiece gets polished, of course, the work is not over yet. Finally, our quality inspector will do professional inspections on the size tolerance and the performance improvement of our work pieces with these professional devices. And let's take an example of testing the hardness with this ultrasonic hardness tester. Let's go to the factory again. Now we can see the service life of the workpiece will extend greatly. 
and the UA find is a whole new looking piece of work. Considering the cost difference between repair and replace by a new one, what a magic! Until now, I think you have a brief idea of how the laser cladding works. Welcome, follow our channel, and see you next time. Bye bye.